and forth. I, I thought I'd, I have a pet speech. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, perhaps I'll, I'll stick to it. Um, I have to confess that a certain level of discomfort at the sort of three minute um, uh, speed dating format as McKenna sold it to me as, which I'm not sure what was after there. But, uh, but, um, <laughs> so if you'll forgive me, I've written down what I want to say. Um, um, and my comments are really located within a set of discussions that have emerged out of uh, a university, which is a historic black university, in which the design disciplines have not, um, have never been, you know, sort of policy of kind of inferior education. And what's emerged there through our reading group on which we entitled Politics and, and Aesthetics in the Center of Humanities Research over the last three years is a set of ideas unconstrained, I would say, by the kind of um, uh, interests of discipline. Um, but in order to ask this, answer this question about um, the future of the African city and the role of innovative design, um, I want to ask the question about how we begin to formulate design. And there are all these words that are circulating about all of us being creatives and you know this sort of um, the kind of abundance of the fringe, etc. But I want to ask everyone to think more more critically about how most of Cape Town is where it is, and most Cape Townians are where they are by design. And so to kind of bring into that formulation a kind of sense of our own discipline's kind of implication and a critical self-reflection. So it's not just objectifying the apartheid city as some phenomena that's disappeared, but looking at post-apartheidness, as someone like Premish Lali would argue, as a continu continuity. Um, so in order to properly formulate a response to the question of futures of, of the future or futures, I'd like to begin by asserting that we need to pose the survey of um, in a relation to Africa's multiple pasts and presences. The term the African city as it's emerged in recent scholarship and practice has been mobilized as a means of self-identification from within the continent. But I'd like to suggest that given the histories of, of the colonial project, posing questions about its future in, the, in these very terms might perhaps be problematic and perhaps even an intellectual dead end. Thinking the African city, which I'll call it for now, into the future risks becoming a provincializing term that might do the work of resting questions of the city within a set of old significations of inferiority perpetuated by histories of subjection, notions of the dark continent, the discourses of development, and third world politics. So I'd like to ask the question of what intellectual concepts and, and resources do we need to think the city differently? And one move might be, and here I'm sort of quoting after Sir Walter scholar Dipek Ch uh, Chakrabarti's powerful formulations in his book Provincializing Europe, to treat Africa as a hyper-real term, in that it re refers to certain figures of the imagination whose geographical reference remains somewhat indeterminate. Africa, considered in this light, as a figure of the imagination is of course subject to contestation. But for a moment I shall suspend this and like Chakrabarti treat as if it were a given, a reified category concept paired in opposition to the equally problematic term of the West and considered within a structure of domination and subordination. Now, I, I realize that, um, in a way, I speak in a register that is entirely different to the registers of, of, kind of urban planning discourse, but I've done this terms as, to, as, as a purposeful move. Um, but I, okay, I also re realize that, that, that by treating the term Thus, I leave myself open to the challenge by those who'd immediately protest that any idea of a homogenous, uncontested Africa would dissolve under analysis. While this is true, and I would agree, but just as the phenomenon of Africa does not disappear because some of us have now attained a critical awareness of it, similarly a certain version of the West continues to dominate design discourses in the city. And like Chakrabarti, I contend that this analysis does not make things go well. <laughs> 